So guys, this is Computer Ace and today I'm going to show you how you can install TWRP recovery on your Samsung J7 Prime. In fact, you can apply this method to any J7 variant, uh, but given you download the appropriate uh, TWRP recovery from TWRP.me, which is official supplier of TWRP recovery. All right. So go to TWRP.me and uh, just uh, click on devices and choose from there samsung and after you reach here i will provide a direct link of uh, this in the description you can go there and check out which uh, variant of samsung j7 you are having here i'm using j7 prime all right of the of which uh, recovery i have already downloaded and i have kept that in the folder all right here you could see twrp 3.2.1 is the latest version for of TWRP for your phones so what you required you required uh, two things first is uh, TWRP recovery file and second is uh, Arden flasher it's a software by which you can uh, flash dot uh, IMG files or TR TR files or MD5 files whatever you want to do so first of all just uh, go to settings in your phone and move down and click on about device these steps are mandatory without uh, these steps you will not be able to the uh, to install twrp on your phone just click on software information this tutorial i'm showing for samsung j7 prime remember all right just move and check out build number all right what you have to do you have to click seven times simultaneously on this builder number all right you say it says no need developer mode has already been enabled i have already done this so the time you click seven times on this builder number you will see this option here uh, developer options at the bottom of the settings just click on this and make sure oem unlock is enabled this is very important if you do not enable this you may face a lot of issues and move down and see usb debugging is also enabled these two steps are mandatory and very crucial for the whole process all right so i suppose you have done uh, you are done with these two steps and just uh, plug in your device to your pc using a usb cable all right and now my phone is connected i guess okay we'll check that out uh, using Odin. okay just move to Odin and run it as an administrator it's not uh, you are not bound to run it as administrator but it's always recommended uh, you can see here id colon com is turned blue that means your phone is connected now load the recovery file by clicking on app ap and just uh, check out just troubleshoot if the same file is now recovery okay this is it now what you have to do you have to turn your phone off in fact you have to turn your phone into recovery uh, into downloading mode sorry for for that you have to turn it off first just like that as usual now okay upon your phone uh, turns off you have to uh, get your phone into a downloading mode okay for that we have to press home button central button and volume down button and power button at the same time like this okay this is it it shows a warning don't worry you have to press volume up as it says here volume up to continue you have to press volume up and check again on Odin if the id colon com is uh, no still blue that means your phone is connected now what you have to do on Odin you have to go to options and you have to deselect this option auto reboot this is very important all right just deselect it and move back and now what you have to do you have to click on start right and wait for okay it says pass but your phone is still here now just unplug it 
okay now what you have to do you have to press the combination of the buttons again what buttons are they uh, the home button volume down button and power button at the same time once it turns off you have to switch from volume down to volume up and there you are i hope you get the process whole process really clear very clearly and in the next tutorial i'll be showing you how you could root your samsung j7 prime this is it guys i hope you like the video please subscribe and like this video thank you